Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome to a brand new episode of Revelation Communication. This is our 70th episode. Uh, we're hitting milestones here in 2022. Uh, we will be getting to 100 later on in the year, but um, just wanted to thank everybody uh, before I get going for um, for joining this podcast, for listening, for supporting, and uh, being a part of uh, this Revelation Communication journey uh, that I started back in the year 2000. My, how time has flown by these last uh, couple of years, but um, looking forward to um, getting to today's topic. Now, now, um, let me preface it by saying this. Um, I am extremely grieved and um, burdened right now with a whole lot of things, um, you know, especially what's going on in this nation and in this world. Um, you know, my heart's heavy for another uh, uh, for another few reasons um, personally, but, um, but no need to get into those because uh, I'll be okay through that stuff. But <clears throat> The text I want to um, share with everybody today comes out of Second uh, Thessalonians um, chapter two, verses three and four. And Paul says this: He says, "Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come." He's speaking of the day of Jesus Christ. He goes on to say, "Except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son." Of perdition. Now, let me pause very quickly right there on verse three of Second Thessalonians chapter two. That um, man of sin, that son of perdition, is the Antichrist. And so, just so you know, um, what Paul is referring and and what he is alluding to is that the day of Jesus Christ shall not come until the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, which again is the antichrist and verse 4 goes on to say who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called god and that is worshiped so that he as god sitteth in the temple of god showing himself that he is god and what's going to end up happening ladies and gentlemen is this antichrist this false Messiah is going to um, claim to be God. He is going to require that he be worshipped as God. He's even going to sit in the newly rebuilt temple in Jerusalem, um, showing himself to be God. Um, and the reason why I'm, I'm kind of approaching this this subject and this matter today is because I, I ran across an article um, on a website called Israel Today. And there was an article that a very well-known ultra ultra orthodox Jewish rabbi, and according to this article, he is one of the top two or three um, respected, revered, ultra orthodox Jewish rabbis in Israel today. This man claims that he is having uh, conversations with the Messiah, and that this. Um, quote unquote Messiah is getting ready to reveal himself. And um, if you believe and trust in the Bible that I believe and trust in, this quote unquote Messiah is going to be the Antichrist. And what's even more startling regarding this revelation that. Um, this rabbinical Jew, this rabbi, um, claims to be speaking to the Messiah, um, is how close Israel is to rebuilding the third temple uh, in Jerusalem. Um, they are extremely close. As I shared with um, my church family as we were going through the study in the book of Revelation, um, Israel has everything it needs to begin the building of the third temple. It has all the stones. It has all the gold, the jewels, everything that you read about in the Bible uh, regarding the temple being built by Solomon um, and the instructions by God of of what it should look like and what it should contain and, and the measurements and the cubits, uh, uh, if I may. Um, Israel has everything that they need to begin this building of the third temple. And that is why I'm a little um, 
burdened right now with the fact that there is there are people in Israel who are claiming to be speaking directly with the Messiah. Now, let me be very clear that this article um, is not claiming that the rabbis are speaking with the Messiah, Jesus Christ, which is the one true living Messiah. But again, this is the Antichrist that the Bible speaks about, that Paul uh, here in our text in Thessalonians is referencing, that the book of Revelation um, speaks about, that John refers to in his epistles. Um, and, and this is very real, ladies and gentlemen. Th this is something that we must pay very close attention to. First of all, because it's biblical. Um, and secondly, because when these things begin to happen, when we start to see these things, we need to make sure that we are rooted and grounded in our faith. Why? Because great deception is going to fall upon the multitudes of this world. And in fact, I believe that billions, and I said that with a B just in case you didn't hear me, billions will be deceived by this idea that this quote unquote Messiah coming out of Israel occupying the temple of in Jerusalem is is God and, and the reality is folks he's not that is a lie um, it is a great deception that many are going to be tricked and many are going to be fooled by and, and even more frightening is this revelation here and, and let me share this with you and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go off on a little bit of a soapbox here real quickly did you know that NASA, has recently asked religious leaders to prepare the church, if I may, uh, uh, their religions, if, if I may. NASA has asked religious leaders to prepare people for the impending proof of aliens. Now, I have a theory regarding aliens and ufos i believe that they are demonic i i believe if you go back to uh, even the book of genesis um that the sons of men um these nephilim um can take on the shape and take on the form of of just about anything they want um as the lord wills of course um but there is going to be great deception and great deceit coming that this world has never seen or never heard and and uh, uh listen folks I, i'm not a conspiracy theorist i i believe to be a truth teller um you know i've been speaking about some things the last couple of years that uh, many people would believe um, or initially call a conspiracy well guess what those things have become true and and uh, i believe that what i'm speaking to you about today will come to pass as well there will be a false messiah revealed that is going to occupy the third temple that's going to be built in Jerusalem and he is going to perform great wonders and great miracles and um, he's going to um, usher in a season of peace um, likened to peace with the Middle East, peace, quite frankly, all around the world. This this Messiah, this Antichrist is going to usher in a, a season of peace and he's going to be looked to as a savior and as a as a, as a person, as, as a, 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 a spiritual, if I may, leader um, that is going to bring peace to the world and, and, and men are going to revere this individual and men are going to fear this individual and put this individual on a pedestal and, and, and on a stage and on a stand and, and, and on a throne, quite frankly, um, that is all part of of the plan. And, and unfortunately, soon, uh, per the scriptures, it will be revealed that uh, this Antichrist, this false Messiah is going to turn its back on Israel. It's going to turn its back on God's people. And it is going to go after that which love the Lord Jesus Christ and persecute uh, them like they've never been persecuted before. Uh, again, this is all in the Bible, folks. I'm not making none of this stuff up for, for my own um, for my own good, uh, for my own, you know, self-righteousness. Uh, I'm sharing it with you because it's happening 
right before our very eyes. I'm sharing it with you because it's right in front of our faces. And 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 listen, if if you to this day don't believe and can't see these things that are taking place, um, you know, the best thing that I can encourage you to do is just pray. Ask the Lord for discernment. Ask God if any of this is true. Ask God to show you, is this true? Are these things going to happen? And guess what? God is going to show you. Why? Because God does not want to send anybody to hell. We send ourselves to hell by not believing God, by not believing his word, by not believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. But ladies and gentlemen, there are so many things happening today that are lining up with the scriptures, that are lining up with the arrival of the Antichrist as foretold thousands of years ago. And it's right before our eyes. It's right under our nose. And there are wars and and rumors of wars and and there are things happening today and that Jesus predicted in Matthew 24 there are things today that Paul spoke about in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 there are, there are things being spoke about that Paul warned Timothy about there are things being done today that all throughout the scriptures we see are coming to the forefront and all that means for you and I is that everything is falling into place the way that it should be. And while it's easy to um, fear, while it's easy to be anxious, while it's easy to worry, um, even have doubt, um, please know that those spirits of fear and of worry and of anxiousness and of doubt are not of God. That is exactly what the devil, that is exactly what the enemy, that is exactly what this world wants you to do is to be afraid, to be fearful, and to rely on it for reprieve, to rely on it to be rescued, to rely on it to have that fear removed. When Jesus says, that he has given us a spirit of love and of peace and of a sound mind. So if you don't have that spirit that we have been given by the Holy Spirit of God, then I ask you to search yourself. I ask you to talk to God and find out how you can get that spirit of peace, that spirit of love, that spirit of a sound mind and and stop living in fear. Listen, there's a lot of things taking place that that are meant to scare you, but don't be scared. Man, these things are supposed to happen. These things are supposed to take place. And and I would just encourage you and, and I would ask you and implore you, don't be fearful. Do not live in a spirit of fear. That's exactly where the devil wants you to live is in a spirit of fear. Why? Because he has his grips on you when you live in fear. But when you live in the liberty of when you live in the light of Jesus Christ, you will soon realize just how free you are. And I tell you what, there is no greater freedom. There is no greater truth than that of Jesus Christ. And that is what we need to find hope in today. Uh, that is what we need to rest in today. That is who and what we need to have faith in today. And so with all this going on around the world today, with the impending arrival of this false Messiah, with the impending building of the third temple in Jerusalem, folks, um, just know the days are getting close where um, uh, where, where we're going to see some things that we've never seen before. And, and I would just, um, I would just ask that, uh, um, that you have your wicks trimmed, uh, that you have your uh, you, you have your 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 lanterns filled uh, with oil, because uh, there's going to be a day where those that don't have that done are going to be left behind, and um, I just don't want you to be one of those because it's not going to be fun um, if you're left behind. Um, anyways, man. With that being said, um, I, I'm going to wrap up uh, this episode of of Revelation Communication. Let me give you a couple of reminders before um, I get going. We do have our midweek Bible study taking place on. On Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. We uh, just want to invite you and encourage you to come join us as we're going through um, a great series right now. Um, 
regarding the Word of God and, and uh, avoiding confusion um, with the Word of God as it compares to the world that we live in today. And then this Sunday, Sunday, January 16th, make it a point to get to Revelation Church at 10 a.m. And let me tell you why. We have an amazing guest speaker coming to um, preach the Word of God uh, with us this Sunday at 10 a.m. Mr. Ralph Haynes, um, I can call him Captain Ralph Haynes. I can call him Pastor Ralph Haynes. I can now call him Author uh, Ralph Haynes as he's written a book called The Book of Miracles, uh, Things That Only God Could Have Done, talking about his uh, 33 a year career with the fire service in the city of San Diego. But come on and join Revelation Church this Sunday at 10 a.m. and, and meet Ralph and, and just get fed the word of God. I'm excited for what um, he's going to do. Listen, you can find all the links to our podcast, sermons, Bible studies, etc., and all the links to our social media pages by heading on over to our website, www dot revchurchcv.com and if i can pray for you if you want to talk head up back on over to that website scroll all the way down to the bottom you'll find my contact information or you can leave me a message thank you so much for tuning in today for putting up with me for listening to me i'm solomon stewart with revelation communication bye